Hi, I'm Meg. I live next door. I know. I've admired you in the garden from afar. Will you go out with me? I'd love to. Oh, he's gay. You wish. Get out of here, you mouth breather. In some ways, army life in Iraq is what you'd expect. What with the blistering heat, the constant sense of impending danger, and the one gay soldier awkwardly avoiding the use of pronouns. Man, I sure miss my sweetheart back home. I can't wait to get back to that person. Dad, I dug the latrine 50 feet out. Oh, that's great, Kevin. You want a cookie every time you do something right? Go get some firewood. Yes, sir. He's gonna grow up to be quite a man. Mm, that was incredible, Kevin. I'm not here to impress you. Am I, Dad? Did I say you could rest yet? I don't trust that turkey those Iraqis made. Ah, you're all wet, Swanson. I call the white meat. I call the dark meat. I call the cell phone duct tape to the side. No! Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you, Dad. Oh, that's wonderful news. No, Dad. I don't know what normal is anymore. Yeah! USA! I didn't even know there was a war. Okay, Bonnie. One, two, three, push! My God! I can walk! It's a miracle! Sorry, Dad. Just get the chair. Freeze! Dad? Careful, Kevin. There's a bear trap two feet to your right. Thanks, Dad. Look out for your mother! There's a sandwich on the counter, honey. Hey. Uh, hey, Kevin. You, uh, you smell like a rabbit, buddy. Something just happened with a rabbit? I'll go get my dad. I can't believe my dad is in there. This will probably scar me for the rest of my life. I got a new dress. Try talking about him. So, uh, do you like music? Oh, yeah, I played guitar in a band before we moved, but uh, it interfered with my studies. Uh, what do you listen to? Uh, you first. I'm into garbage, fish, blur. My parents don't like me listening to that stuff, but I do anyway, because I am not a robot! <laughs> I guess that store's having a fire sale! <laughs> I tell you, that kid was strong-headed for his age, smart but innocent. And then one day, there was a firefight. <laughs> We bring in the civilian who got killed in the crossfire. I pull back the sheet, and who is it? Not the kid, but like the kid's dad's, like, co-worker's neighbor. He was 74, and he had actually tried to rape someone. But just looking down at his dead face, and knowing that he lived near someone who worked with the dad of the kid whose name I never found out, I lost all hope. Peter, that's not where you do a raspberry. I closed my eyes too early. I think it's best if you leave. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I'll hang out with my godson, Kevin. Get out! He was masturbating with a knife. I got one, Dad! <laughs> Looks like that's the one that got away. The hell it is. You get in there, and you kick that fish's ass! You're saying that because of a swear word, my son isn't good enough for your pool party? It's a little bit about him swearing, but mostly about you as a parent. Kevin, I said no arrows! Crossbows don't shoot arrows! They shoot bolts, dumbass! <laughs> okay, sweetie. Hey, Dad, did you hear what Einstein called bolts? I heard it. We don't have to sit here and listen to this. Come on, Kevin, let's get out of here. Nice try, skank. Worth a shot? Well, where did you go after you left the war? Uh, I spent a few years laying low, wrote some poems. You want to hear some? No. Are you sure? They're pretty intense. No! Here, let me just read one. If I can guess a line in there, will you not read it? I don't think you'll be able to guess a line. Is it something like, ice burns as hot as fire? Okay, so then I went to Europe. I've spent the last 15 years gathering information on him. Joe, your 25-year-old son and your baby daughter share a room just so you can keep a weirdo beautiful mind room? Isn't that a little bizarre? And then we dug the bullets out of that Iraqi family's skulls so they couldn't be traced back to us. Today, I saw a balloon. My dad always says, measure twice, cut once. My daddy always said, Cleveland Jr., quit jumping on the bed. <laughs> we didn't measure! We didn't measure! Hey, Lois, thanks for letting Kevin bring his girlfriend this year. And I hope it's not awkward that she's a little person and they viciously fight all the time. Why do we have to spend every holiday with your family? Shut up! I'm a full-size person! I make the decisions!
don't you worry. This will quickly turn into rough front yard makeup sex. Oh, this fighting is making me so damn hot. Oh my god, it looks like he's chalking a pool cue. This is Kevin's first birthday since he came home from Iraq. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop but never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's my birthday and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. Hey, guys, can you hold my phone and point it over this way? I want to live stream my suicide. Yeah, sure, Kevin. You know what it is, Stewie? It's a selfishness. It's an inability to look out and see someone who needs someone. It's, it's just, it's a lack of empathy. Can you make sure I'm totally in the frame? Yeah, I'm not a pro. You get what you get. Anyway, what is wrong with people that they're so myopic and just preoccupied with their own little lives? Is it on? It's whatever it was when you handed it to me. The point is, there's someone out there for everyone if they're just willing to open their eyes and look. Glad you're home, son. Me too, Dad. You know, there's still some pumpkin pie left, everyone. That sounds good to me. Me too. Hey, happy Thanksgiving to us all, huh? Hello. Wait! That man's an imposter. I'm the real Kevin Swanson. Guys, I don't think we have time for this.